Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts. A guy that has a fantastic left hand, he's very quick, he's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. The notorious Conor McGregor has stepped into the octagon this time. He wants to leave with that championship belt. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that problem johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. So here is Conor McGregor once again. Is there any atmosphere in MMA quite like Conor McGregor fighting in this octagon? The Irish fans are going bananas. We'll see if Conor McGregor can take advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach here tonight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Misses with the left hook. Slips. Let me see those knees now. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home run. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. 
Wow, a strong roundhouse kick there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. I mean, these guys are really fun. What a pace that they're fighting at. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Big shot to the head. Oh, misses with the jet. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Oh, another punch lands flush by McGregor. Straight punch. is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You gotta take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Wow! Huge head kick. Oh, nice body shot. Keep going with that. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. McGregor gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Body shot there. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. McGregor gets lit up by that uppercut. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strokes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost. Big watch land through the middle. All right, so the narrative in this one, Conor McGregor's striking accuracy. He talks about this killer of weaponry, but the hands have been the story time. Well, he can do it all, and this is where he wins fights. When he is comfortable, when he is confident, and he spends the vast majority of a fight on his feet, Conor McGregor is victorious, and you are seeing that in the octagon. Out of range with that one. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. He's got the single collar tie. Inside. Oh! Oh! Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with him. No. Ten seconds to go in round one. Got that single collar tie. Oh, he did a great job of rotating it into an underhook. Five minutes in the books. So how about that round? Back to the stool. Confidence has to be high. That's a good five minutes from Conor McGregor. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, round two. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Connor? Yeah. 
Lands a quick jab. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston and it lands it. It's like an atabomb. Like he hits people and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoes. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register that. <laughs> Looking to establish the jab here nicely done by McGregor. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Nice shot like to the that. head from the clip. Like that. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Spinning back fist. Oh, man. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now, he's showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. All right, well, that blow is fossiting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Beautiful jab there by the champ. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Let's go. Get off first, well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Come on, let's get it. Minute and a half to go round two. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Conor McGregor lands the left hand there. Amazing to think where this man's star power is. Despite the fact that he only made his UFC debut in 2013, he has put Ireland on the MMA map and then some. Remarkable what he has done for himself, for his country, and of course the sport of mixed martial arts. Straight right hand, no good. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one is clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and... Neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. McGregor's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Oh, this could be a factor. That left eye starting to close up. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work.
Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He lands a solid punch in. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing the opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Beautiful leg kick lands. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now and fired up the video to look at beauty in action, and he was the one causing all the action. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Connor. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, McGregor's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Nice job to block the elbow attack there. Just touching him with the jab. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful hands on this plate. Another punch lands. Oh! All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. McGregor's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Beautiful combination up top. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Shane. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us. He goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks and he's taking full advantage of. Good punch. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you gotta call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch, John. Like that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Wolverine's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. 30 seconds to go in this one. 
What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. to the body with those strikes. McGregor's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and mentally to make sure that you're ready to go in that extra 10 minutes. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the... Whoa! Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Heard it again. Oh! Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, back and forth we go. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. lands with a knee. Beautiful body kick. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. And as you watch, he's crying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Oh, McGregor's lower. Oh, he hit him again! He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time. Oh! So far, a frame. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Ninety seconds to go in the round. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. The cut men on both sides. So 
what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. So Conor McGregor is back and in a big way tonight. The referee, the opponent, everybody had seen enough. McGregor, your winner by TKO. McGregor just dominated. He dominated the fight. He was able to land his strikes. He landed his strikes effectively and consistently. You cannot take multiple shots from Conor McGregor. And by taking multiple, you ended up getting knocked out or getting TKO'd because the referee had to save you from more of the McGregor damage.